Here we are, normal distributions, example 2.72, part 7. This time they want us to find the z-score, bell curve, zero in the middle, standard normal, that corresponds to the 38th percentile, all right, percentile 38. Always remember that a percentile is the percentage of data that falls below to the left of a particular score, all right? So if it's going to be at the 38th percentile, keep in mind this is the 50th percentile because 50% of the data falls below this. Wouldn't the 38th percentile have to be somewhere down here below the mean? And so the 38% the would be the percentage of data that falls below to the left of that particular score. So this is where the 0.38 would come into play. All right? And here again, the table that I'm asking you to understand is middle sliver, always will be, okay? There are lower tail tables out there. But again, my experience has been the more tables I give people, the more confused they get. So let's just ramrod everything into middle sliver here. Plus, it, what the heck, it checks your critical thinking abilities. But I would like to think that you could say, you know what, I know that the area from the middle to forever is 0.5, and if I take away that lower tail, I'll figure out what that middle sliver will be. So if we take that lower half of the bell curve and subtract that 38% from it, that's 50, that's 12%. Now for the purposes of our table, let's put the extra two zeros on there because again, this particular table, these areas that are in the body of the table are four decimal places. So there we go, that's a middle sliver. I don't think I'll click the table time. Let's just, table time. All right, so 0.12 is what we're looking for. And I am locating the fact that in the body of that table, that 0 0.1200 middle sliver that we're dealing with, let me put it in here, 12%, all right? That falls between 1179, 0 0.1179, and 0 0.1217. So a little quick subtraction here. If you take this minus this, it's a difference of 21. And if you take this minus this, it's only a difference of 17. 17 is closer than 21. It's closer to this one. We're gonna look up to 1217. All right, so 0.1217 lines up with 0 0.31, 0.31. I hope you don't circle that and walk away from it. I truly hope that you would understand Mr. Sourdough Bread would have to count that wrong if you walk away from it because it's below the mean, below zero, it's negative. Put a negative on it. There, now we're happy, everybody gets their points and life is grand. Good job.